yes you know how much i um yeah really value the the club and the club uh, the cup competitions uh, and uh, yeah of course we want to be as successful as possible also in the uh, in the fa cup it's the oldest competition in the uh, in the in the in the whole cup competition in the whole world and for that um and lots of value and and we want to be as successful as uh, as possible and also we want to go into the into the next round we are of course aware that it's a bit special season we have many many games and uh, we won't take any risk and it's uh, um yeah more or less a yeah third game within seven days um it's of course quite normal that we will rotate a little bit i think we, we need to find a good good balance between taking a risk and to rotate a bit but also to bring the the best possible and a really strong uh, starting lineup on the uh, on the pitch in order to to go through to the next round um and this is more like the balance we have we have to find but one thing is for sure we want to win this game and want to go into the next round yes in personal terms uh, sadly um not the best news i have to uh, have to say so um like I mentioned before, Timo Puki is not available for this uh, game. Also for Christoph Zimmermann, it comes a bit, a bit too early. We were hoping that he would be able to to play, but um, he's still a little bit symptomatic and we hope to have him back then for, for Middlesbrough. So we won't take uh, any risk in this recovery process. So we will miss uh, the game the game as well. Uh, sadly, we also have to play without uh, Todd Cantwell. Uh, he's got some back problems and this caused uh, awareness in his, in his hamstring uh, he already felt it in the in the final minutes of the of the last game, and uh, this turnaround is a bit too too quick uh, quick for them. So for that, uh, he will definitely miss uh, also the game uh, the game tomorrow. He will be out. Um, yeah, COVID situations. Some good news. Bali uh, Mumba returned uh, yesterday after his isolation uh, back to team training. He was out for 12 days, so he is right now back. Yeah, of course, not in his full rhythm. Not perhaps yeah fully was there with 100 percent, but. Also, the first steps to, to come back into team training is, uh, is quite good. Um, uh, sadly, some uh, sad news with uh, Kenny McLean. He was tested positive. And for that, he will have to uh, self-isolate uh, himself right now. We're still uh, waiting for the confirmation from, uh, of, the, of the retest because there's always a, a chance for a false positive test. And also for that, you always need a proper retest. And we're still waiting to confirm it. But um, yeah, he also showed some symptoms uh, over the last night and for that we expect him, he will be out for, for tomorrow definitely because if it's uh, not not COVID then definitely a, a proper flu and yeah, we will miss the game uh, tomorrow And uh, but we expect it, uh, that COVID the positive COVID case will be confirmed with the retest and that means then he will have to self-isolate also for 10 days and he would also miss uh, the Middlesbrough game um, so of course some, some bad news uh, bad news with him um, yeah, all the other COVID situations is up. Also, uh, Adam Ida, Ida returned back to the training ground. He's right now finishing his, uh, his last days in this real process. We expect him uh, to be back in, in full team training uh, next week. Um, yeah, also Xavi Quintilla, much, much improved, but, but he has to be a bit uh, patient in the middle of, of next week. He can return then back to the, uh, to the group. And that's the situation with our um, ill and, and um, um, or injured players and also with the COVID situation. Um, yeah, that's the latest news. So just to clarify then on Kenny McLean, how soon will you find out about the set, the, the retest? And has he already begun his period of isolation? Obviously in the anticipation that he can come back a bit sooner after yes. 10 days. Yeah, yeah. Begun it uh, anyhow, and, and he is still uh, is already isolated. It's always the same process. We are tested uh, at least uh, twice a week, and um, yeah, during during uh, one of the tests right now after the game, he was uh, after the last game he was then uh, tested uh, positive with this lateral uh, flow test, and then you need a proper PCR test in order to confirm it. But all signs are that he is really positive there because he shows some symptoms anyhow. And uh, we're waiting um, during the next hours for the for the proper confirmation. But uh, we ex- so he will be isolated uh, also also tomorrow and um, then probably also for the, for the next day. So he will be out. Yes, we have a different option. Of course, Kenny was in a, in a brilliant shape and and crucial for the for the our top performances in, uh, in the last games. His dynamic, his ability to to win duels. He had so many good. Um, uh, Situation when he drove with the ball, when he re- went into the channels, prepared, prepared many, many situations, scored goals, was there with assists, involved in many chances also uh, in the last game. Yeah, it's of course a big blow, anyhow, for him and, uh, and also for us. But yeah, during this time, you have to accept, and this was also one of the reasons I spoke about 
um, come on, when, when you have momentum, it's, it's important to keep going because you never know what happens in terms of injuries, illnesses, COVID situations. And uh, for that, we have to keep going. And uh, like always, uh, if, uh, if a player is not available, then it's always a chance for, for another player. Um, yeah, of course, especially for my, for my midfield options, for Lucas also not easy because he was, let's be honest, also out right now for, for seven weeks. Uh, first of all, with, with more or less two muscle injuries and also um, with, a, with a proper flu. Uh, and right now he's also just back since last uh, Tuesday, back in, uh, in training. Um, in, uh, in order to, to help us. He was involved in the, in the last game day squad, but before he was more or less out for six and a half weeks for team training. So um, actually I would, uh, I would uh, say also this game would perhaps even come a bit too soon because he's not in this full rhythm anyhow. But um, yeah, after, after this blow with, with Kenny, perhaps we have to think about to, to give him already a, a bit more game time than it, it was planned. And we have to see in which condition he really, really is because again, so to miss six and a half uh, weeks of training and just after two or three training days it's not like you press a button then you're straight away world class so it, I'm happy that Lucas is back that he's available he could also play a, a important part then for the game tomorrow but uh, we have to wait a little bit how, how yeah how fit he really is and, and how much load he can really have yes if nothing strange happens overnight Tim, Tim will play tomorrow because we got the feeling after he was out so long he needs he needs minutes and needs uh, needs his rhythm I think he was was really uh, focused and concentrated, although he didn't have too much to do, night shots on target in the, uh, the last game. But uh, when you, you return back to the dressing room, um, uh, the performance of the, of the keeper is always top class, yeah, because you have to organize, you have to speak, you have to position yourself in the build-up. Um, also, although there were no shots on target, he had to uh, be there with his timing anyhow to, to, to get some crosses, for example, to be... Uh, aware and set pieces so that I was quite pleased with the good performance of Tim uh, in this first game but I think also for him although he's experienced it's, it's important right now to to get back into his rhythm and then we have a normal uh, week anyhow seven days till we then um, uh, play against Middlesbrough I think it's, it's the right decision to play him uh, play him again I wouldn't be concerned at all if, if Daniel would, would play in the cup because he would he was fantastic he would also deserve to uh, to play anyhow but we got the thing. It's also important for Tim right now to be really fully back in his rhythm to get this minutes. And if not, nothing happens uh, overnight, uh, anyhow, um, then he will play tomorrow. Good that you mentioned. I was I wasn't aware. So if he then plays tomorrow, I definitely have to uh, to give him a hug and uh, distance hug, of course. Uh, <laughs> and, um, uh, him, um, yes, Tim is, uh, is fantastic. I think, yeah, he improved more or less. From from day to day, also in this uh, in this uh, in this game, yeah, of course. In the uh, in the beginning, after he was out so long, he was also a bit criticized in his first game, so because perhaps he looked a bit rusty, and then you could see him growing anyhow from from day to day. And I think uh, the road he has gone anyhow um, was fantastic. He was there with his personality and and his character from the first day when he worked, an unbelievable important for for our group. And um, also what what he did, and he always really hard work and being focused and concentrated. Uh, work you can you can always count on him. how he has developed his uh, his game is, is outstanding and um, there is no doubt that he's the best goalkeeper in this uh, in this league there is no doubt that he was praised also like um, one of the best uh, goalkeepers in the Premier League and this is the best league in the uh, in the in the world and there's also no coincidence that he's right now uh, fighting for the number one for the Netherlands a really proper football nation and that says uh, everything about about him I think he has good chances also. Uh, to play the reviewers, I would, I would totally back him because um, he's he's made anyhow for the for the big stage and for the for the spotlight. Tim is a guy who can can handle the pressure and together with some other leaders in our dressing room, also so important to get the balance right because we're always playing and and uh, training with many many young lads who need to develop and and Tim's leadership is and his appearance, his body language, his appearance on the pitch, his appearance in the dressing room uh, is so important for us and I'm unbelievably glad that we have him. Also great and, and uh, credit to him that he was willing to sign a new contract. Also great, great um, uh, work of, of Stuart Weber that, that we were able to, to find a solution with him. I think for, for both parties, a perfect, perfect, uh, perfect sign and uh, it's just the first 100 games. So I think many and hope many, many uh, more will, will follow and we're all happy that we have to. We don't have to get overexcited. We have signed him for our under-23 with, uh, with the potential anyhow to, to help then at, uh, at one stage for the, for the first team. But let's be realistic. Uh, last season he was involved in Hannover who was fighting against relegation in the second tier in, uh, in Germany. 
uh, and he was not not even close to the team. We saw lots of potential because he has proved this uh, on a on a younger level, and for that we we signed him. And uh, he had a really good loan at uh, Telstra. Scored, scored several goals. Was also already uh, involved in the USA squad. So that says a lot about his uh, his potential. We got the feeling, okay, it's right now the right right thing to um, to to bring him back. Also, uh, let's wait for his work permit permit, but also that he can um, yeah show himself in a in a few training sessions. Also together with the this first team that we know a bit more than about about him, and then we can have a late decision uh, in the in the end of this. Transfer window. If he stays with us, uh, with us, with the first team, with the under 23, or perhaps uh, then even uh, even a different loan on a on a, a bit, yeah, more competitive level than just the second tier in, uh, in the Netherlands. Anyhow, so that was uh, the plan. So definitely, definitely good business. So he has proved this over the last last month. So a player with lots of potential. But yeah, let's not get over excited. So it's not like a short short term solution for the. Uh, for the first team, but everything is possible. Uh, each other player will get a chance uh, at us and anyhow, but I don't think we, we should put too much pressure on his shoulders. We'll give him uh, all the time to develop and to shine and then it's up to him if he can step through the door um, or if he has to be a bit more more patient. So I think it's it's important to calm the expectations also a little bit down.